All right, welcome back to Phlebotomy Solutions. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some basic uh, techniques on locating difficult veins. Now, some people will have uh, some problems locating veins with arms that maybe are a larger arm, somebody, somebody who's maybe obese, um, or veins that are a lot deeper. Um, so I'm gonna show you some basic techniques that might help you to be able to locate a vein uh, with someone who has difficult veins, or again, who might be obese and has larger arms. Now. Couple of things. Now I do have uh, the setup here, right here, and I have the cap from the needle. Uh, when I when I assembled this, I took off this white cap and then I placed it in the vacutainer hub here. And I'm going to show you that you can mark the site before you alcohol, uh, so that you can actually see where you might be drawing. Now this is one little uh, tip, as well as showing you how we can palpate and locate difficult veins. Now. After you're done uh, finding which arm you want to use, um, and even if you're just assessing the arm, you want to be able to uh, put your tourniquet on and of course try to locate a vein first and foremost. So usually what you do is you take your index finger here and you'll actually start to push down and locate a vein. Now I might have the person uh, make a little fist like this, but don't squeeze, just make a fist. And I also don't want them to be pumping, so I don't want them pumping because this can also cause hemoconcentration and, and kind of mess up the test. So I'll have them just close the fist and just kind of squeeze a little bit, uh, a little tighter, okay? And that helps a little bit of the vein to distend up a little bit. So then what I'll do is I'll start to palpate and I'll start to locate a vein if I can find one. Now, if I'm having a hard time here, what I will do is I'll take the wrist and I'll slightly bend the arm up as I'm palpating the area. And make sure you know anatomically where your veins are, the median cubital, the cephalic, and the basilic vein. So you wanna be locating and pushing in those areas. The median cubital, kind of slightly bend the arm a little bit, and locating in the cephalic area, and slightly bend the arm. This will help you feel the vein as it's moving in the arm. Keep your fist close and just kind of push down a little bit. Now, if I'm still having a little bit of a difficult time with this part, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll slightly turn the wrist and pump up a little bit here while I'm feeling and just turn the wrist as I'm feeling and locating, okay? Now, a lot of times you'll see that when you're doing this, you could actually feel where the vein is, no matter how deep it is. So once I find it, okay, what I will do is I'll take this little cap here that I took off and I'll put where the vein is, if I feel it, I'll push down on that site for a few seconds. And as I'm pushing down, I lift up, there's a little mark there. Now that mark, if you lift up, you might be able to see it. There should be a little mark there on the arm, okay? Now that's, that's an impression that's left from this little cap. Now, do not take it and do not twist it. Just put a little pressure here on the site, push down, hold it for a few seconds, lift up, and that should leave a little circle here that actually uh, tells you where you wanna put the needle. So when you're ready to draw the blood, you wanna make sure you're gonna go right into that center circle where you locate the vein. So again, you wanna make sure that you bend the elbow a little bit, or you can twist and bend and push as you're locating the vein. Believe me, that makes a big difference. Most people just like to push, but if you actually start to bend the elbow a little bit, or turn as you're bending, you can feel the vein. It makes it a lot easier. And even on the back of the hands, a lot of times it's a little difficult to find the back of the hands, but that's okay. Once you push down, a lot of times, if you have someone who has larger hands, if, uh, large hands from either medication, they're swollen, sometimes if you push down and hold pressure and you lift up, it might leave an imprint. You might be able to see a vein uh, through that imprint and kind of see where the veins are. So I usually will push down here hold it for a few seconds, lift up, and sometimes you can see the vein uh, push down from the pressure uh, at, the, at the skin. So if you're having a difficult time, tourniquet should be on right here as well, three to four inches above the site. Push down here as well, push down, hold pressure, lift up. The other one again uh, is right here, three to four inches above the site, and you got one minute. Once I do that, I can release the tourniquet. I have my marking here. So when I'm ready to draw, I'm gonna put the tourniquet back on and relocate my vein. If I have to remark it, I will. But again, I'm gonna use the bending of the elbow technique to try and locate a vein. And once I find it and I marked it, then I can go ahead and draw right where I marked it. Okay, so, and if you don't wanna use this, that's fine, you don't have to, but I usually will push down first here, then alcohol the site. Once you alcohol, you can never repalpate the site. 
your hands, your gloves are not sterile, so you don't want to repalpate. Okay, so once again, locating a vein, put the tourniquet on, palpate the area, use the bending technique, bend and twist if you have to, locating the three major veins, doing it in the back of the hand as well, putting some pressure, and then locating, then marking the site, alcoholing, and doing your technique. So this is a little tip on how to locate difficult veins. It works great, try it. Uh, in your classroom or try it with uh, a patient and you'll see that you'll be able to find deeper veins or veins that are a little bit harder to find. So thank you again for uh, watching Phlebotomy Solutions uh, Phlebotomy videos and have a great day.